What's happening, guys and gals? Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's time to join the episode already in progress. In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fogland has begun. Part 2, Azure Moon, Ethereal Moon, Reunion at Dawn. Oh, narrator's back. Ghost narrator, anime dad. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fodlan. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlan, unified by Imperial strength, may yet be in sight. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Uh, what? five more minutes. Who? Oh, you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now, I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Okay. Hey, are, are you awake? Uh, more or less. We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrig Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. What? Anyway, I've heard some thieves have War. been spotted around those parts these days. Five years? What are you talking about? Five years? Um, are you feeling alright? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Millennial Festival? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? The monastery. I'm going to save the world. Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. I heard a rumor that Imperial troops went up there to investigate and got slaughtered. Every last one. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. 
Wait, slaughtered by who? My students are waiting for me. I don't know. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, you tried, dude. Oh my gosh. Eye patch man. <laughs> this is totally you known. without a haircut. But one day, you would be haunting me as well. He sees ghosts. You. What must I do to be rid of you? I will kill that woman, I swear it! Do not look upon me with scorn in your eyes! He has not slept, look at his face! Mm, I feel so bad. <laughs> you. It can't be. You're alive? <laughs> if that is the case, that can only mean you are another Imperial spy. Did you come here to kill me? Answer the question. Of course not, moron. <sighs> I feel like Demetrius' life feels like mine. I'm glad you're safe. Um, what have you been doing the past five years? Buddy? I have been dead, more or less. But... Well, why do you say that? What do you hope to gain asking me that? There are more important matters at hand. Like how you got the eye patch? Do you not smell them? Filthy rats everywhere! And traces of those who were here long ago. And thieves, crawling from the woodwork, attracted by the promise of treasure. <laughs> Since the monastery fell, order in this area fell right along with it. You must have seen the state of the town near Garrick Mach on your way here. Vile thieves run rampant. They pillage and loot to their heart's content. I must kill them. Every last one. It's time to hunt down their nest. Um, okay. I told you, I will kill them all. Someone needs a hug. <laughs> they must die. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. Or do you condone their actions? What? Do you believe that the pillaging and slaughtering those rats live for is justified? It is reprehensible, and they must be put down. I intend to give them a taste of the pain they have inflicted on others. Even if it means becoming a rat myself, I swore to at least do that much. I will not let them down. Uh, how many thieves are there? It doesn't matter. All that matters is killing those who deserve to die. Wow. Great job falling off the cliff, Amy Chan. Look what happened to Dimitri. I should have known to check the monastery. Let's move quickly. Yes, sir. How come our students didn't Dimitri, keep it together? I'm on my way. <laughs> no idea. I thought they were super powerful. Just because we fell down the cliff, all this bad stuff happened? In the holy kingdom of Fargus. Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Blavid to prevent further revolt. 
Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom, houses Gautier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. Wow. Mm. This game just took a major twist. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire supporters. <laughs> Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodlan. That's Dimitri's land. Mm hmm. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. Oh, it's because the Knights of Saros are gone. Hunting by daybreak. Reunion at dawn. It smells of blood and sewage. Seems I found their nest. What the... Intruders, protect the goods. Look like Dimitri's fun. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? He's right. great. Don't let a single vermin escape. Uh. At least he's a passionate guy. Well, he's a level thirty-seven now. I'm level thirty-six. What level are these guys? Oh, easy. What's my strategy? Hmm, strategy, wipe them all out. Bye. Dimitri's like, we need to wipe all the bandits out and kill every last one of them. And Bichon's like, I don't know if we really need to kill them all. And Dimitri's like, we need to kill them all. And she's like, okay. And it's like, the things we do for friends. <laughs> Take that rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh. Ooh, training sword. And this used to be our school. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Ambi Chan's like, yeah. I'm sorry, did a swy did it, uh, a fly just like try to attack me? Yeah. Watch and learn. Okay, I need to switch my weapon. That's fine. Wow, your outfit looks amazing and Dimitri looks all rough and tough. <laughs> How did you able to keep that outfit this whole time? Like I know, and it looks years? like so pressed and taken care you of. I think that you'd be like completely worn out. Like your, your clothes would be destroyed, like all brown and like raggedy from being under the cliff for like what? five years. Why does it say the sword of the creator looks different now? I don't know. Eh. Oh well. Actually, you know what? We're gonna stick with the gauntlets. Yeah. Dead. I've never used the gauntlets Another before. Victim. She looks cool with them. She does, but it's kind of freaky stabbing people with best. that. Not my best. That wasn't your best? What's your worst? Alright, Dimitri, uh, play? I don't know. Doesn't really matter who this guy goes down. Ouch. Eventually, I too will fall. Wow. Wow, dude, what is up with you? Eventually, I too will fall. Yeah, okay. So you had you had a bad day. We get it. We get it. Missed. Dang. Dimitri, it's too weak for this world. Okay, can can we get some happy quotes, Dimitri? Just <laughs> a few. I like this, Dimitri. He's cool. You would. Well, I married you, so no. <laughs> 
Watch and learn what? You just dodged it. You didn't really do anything impressive at all. Okay, this is why I switch weapons, because... That, that feels like you talking about YouTube. One day I too will fall. We're, yeah. we're not wrong! Oh! Giblet! A love interest guy. We must speak later. I know it's been five years, but I never expected the monastery to end up like this. Oh, I haven't seen any of you in such a long time. I'm so glad to see you're alive. We'll help out from here. It's over, thieves! Wow! Why? I know, and that looks so Why different. Why are you here? <laughs> Professor just like, yeah. Talk less. Wait, but how was Ash's dad? I mean, how was Ash hanging out with Annette's dad? Uh, Is Ash supposed to get together with Annette or something? I'm confused. I don't know. Blessed bow. Yes. Get rid of this thing. Oh wait, no. We'll, we'll keep that for a poor time. Mitri. Uh, I guess go up that way. Okay. Oh, I can control these troops now. Sweet. I guess. Whoa! Ash looks so cool! Yeah, he looks awesome. Getting the band Still back together. <laughs> the boys are back in town. Yep. Alright, so let's go with... Service. I don't think anybody needs healing, really. Ah, whatever. Hey. Man. Mercy used to look cool. Yep. The net they made look real pretty, girl. though. Well, she's growing up. Oh yeah, everybody grew up. Except for this guy, he still looks old. I think he looks... good. Why did I hit my own teammate? I don't know. You should smite him. I, why would I smite my own teammate? That doesn't make any you sense. You were the one who picked that. I didn't know what smite did. I was like, oh, this is a new command. Meanwhile, Mercy is still kicking butt. Yeah. Next time, choose the command wait. Okay. If you're next to your own teammate. Wow, there's like so many of these thieves. Oh, whoops, bye. All talk and no action. Dimitri, come on, dude. Level 38. With each kill, more monstrous. Look, his whole life, like, got destroyed in front of him. He thought he was finally going to bring justice. That was his job. Mm, was true. to rule his country and bring justice to, you know, he has to, like, you know, destroy people that are supposed- that are taking away- Like, to him, he feels like he has to- not only- not only is the guilt of his country being destroyed on him, but it's also the guilt of all his loved ones that he promised he would avenge them, but also the guilt of every single innocent person that has died because of the Flame Emperor coming and killing them all. He he was supposed to take care of them. He was supposed to protect his people, and he couldn't. Made it my own. Of course he's gonna feel like garbage. It's... He... He feels... responsible. Child. That makes sense. Yeah. Not enough. Mm. In fact, I'm, I I kind of like this Dimitri more because it shows that even though he failed, he cares so much like that it's still bothering him. Most people would just move on and be like, "Well, I'm rich. I'm just gonna live my life." He felt like he was supposed to do something about it. That's how I see it. Oh wow, that's the mercy I remember. All right, Annette. Uh... Whatever you want to do. Maybe they'll get cooler outfits later. These are cool outfits! It had to be done. You said you didn't like Mercy's outfit. I... Mercy's face and hair look different. Like, the other characters look really cool. And I like that they have color, finally. I'm kind of tired of wearing the black clothes all the time. Yeah. But you realize, like, people that join a monastery, they're not supposed to wear, like, really colorful clothes. 
Uh oh. They're supposed to be humble and stuff. Ah! You missed! Dimitri's like, fool. No, I don't think so. Finish him! Thank you! A tragic end. She still sounds cool, though. I never like Mercy's voice. I mean, she's gotta be like the oldest out of all the students now. So she's gotta be close to 30. Yeah, that can go away. Come on, run at me! So long! <laughs> Satisfying. This could turn the tides. Come. I'll have to be clever. You need to be clever? Well. How was that clever? No damage. Ouch. Oh, but you did wipe out my uh, Worven unit, which. Yeah, you'll pay for that. Is it. Wait, Worven or Wyvern? Look, I don't know. Uh, well. I always call it Wyvern. Wyvern. Wyvern sounds cool. Oh, that's cute. You like to use these weapons, huh? Well, this is how you really use them. Oh, never mind. You got to live. That's depressing. Yeah. So many of these bandits. Not enough. Child's play. I'm amazed that he's still alive, though. Like, he's the longest living anime dad now. Five years later, he made it. The monastery yeah. has become a nest of thieves. Professor. You're alive after all, but first things first, let's defeat these thieves. Why didn't Ingrid stay with Dimitri? I'll lend a hand. We'll catch up later. Wait, Felix is nice now? Listen up. We must end this quickly. I guess. Why was Dimitri all by himself? Why didn't his friends stay with him? I guess he drove them all Ready away with on. his craziness. How do I? I don't know. I mean, he's kind of crazy. Ingrid still kicks butt. Bye. I aim for greatness. Well, you do your greatness thing. Good job on getting that bullion. Um, let's see. There's a treasure chest there, but I don't have anybody who can get that. Eh. Oh well. I'll cut through. I need you to open this. Was that enough to break it? Sweet! Mm, I hope What's so. Plan? So man looks awesome! Yeah, he looks even better than he did before. Everyone looks all... perfect and... I don't know. Gang's all here. Alright, so... Who is this again? This is Mercy and... We could always use some extra. Yep, that was a good, good little gamble there. Leave it to me. I'm supposed to leave it to who? Never understood that. Leave it to me. Okay. Uh, there's a couple treasure chests. Oof. Where's my thief? Can you still open chests? I'm hoping he still can. I don't know why he wouldn't have same skills he had before. Well, I mean, he's not a thief anymore. Oh wait, no, he always has the ability to unlock stuff. What am I talking about? Too weak for this world. Dimitri, you need your horse, buddy. You need to be a happy paladin again. Well, we can't have what we want all the time. I suppose that's And you true. really need a new computer so you can edit twice as fast, but we can't tell them have what we need. All for Hopefully Dimitri does get his horse. Because that would be very useful. He's very happy with his horse. Okay, wait here. Gonna get those treasure chests. Uh, meanwhile, Ambi Chan, um, take these guys out. Nope. Try again. Oh, okay. Well, that's all we have. Enemy turn! Let's see what you guys do. Let's try something. Well, gonna do a gambit. Lame. 
Yeah. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. You knew the odds. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Come on. You really thought you would be successful with that? Go Lance. I don't think so. I don't think so. Watch and learn. Nope. Hmm. It's over. Well, I mean, for this guy, there's still a lot of bandits left. All is going to plan. Yep. Too easy. I mean, I feel like we can easily take the rest of them. Oh, of course we can. I just kind of want to get the treasure chest. Uh oh. Ash, can you take this? Yay! Just standing there like I'm, does somebody feel like a passing breeze. To the north and south. We'll split into two and tear them apart. Uh why am I getting hurt? That's weird. Alright, so we got all these people. Lots of treasure chests, my gosh. Um You go open this too. Because I don't know reasons. Come get some! Ingrid, can you open treasure chests? Dang it. You don't have a key. Um, Sylvain, do you have a treasure chest? Items? No. Nobody has any keys on them. Ugh. This is why I need to give people keys. Okay. Yeah, probably. Hopefully we still have everything we had in our convoy before. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, blast. I didn't want to actually open up the... I was trying to shoot that guy in the face. Fine. I'm sure we still have our convoy items. I mean, they wouldn't take them away. Maybe they would. Don't bother yeah, hopefully not. Ooh! Chest key! No. Uh, whatever that is, put that hammer away. There we go. Are there chests nearby? Uh, there's one there, so I have to go through that door, and then I can get one of those chests. Alright, that works for me. Meanwhile... Ooh, pretty cool. Dimitri, what are you doing? Just... I'm oh, fine. You go... over here. Attack this fool. Bye. See you in the eternal flames. Uh... <laughs> that's cheesy using for you. Yeah. Okay. Not seeing any more treasure chests. Ah, there's some. They're way back here, though. And Amichan should be able to open stuff, I think. All right, I'm going this way. Um, you girls move forward as well. And in uh, Mercy, you go this way. Assist whoever needs it. Much needed. Good job, Mercedes. Okay, now. Uh, can I? Okay, that I suppose that worked. Thanks. Um, open this chest. Sweet. Just a steel lance, but that's fine. Enemy turn. All right. Enemy face. I'm gonna throw a gambit? Good job, Ash! Uh oh. Yeah, no. I got one for you, though. I have another. Man, these guys survive. It's annoying. He used to beat you fools real fast. And they all have gambits. Yep, they do. This is gonna take a long time. I feel like. <laughs> Foolish. One to remember. One to remember, uh, <laughs> Felix. The so Felix gets all the knightly quotes now, and Demetri gets all the crazy quotes. That makes sense. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's weird how their personalities kind of like flip flop that way. Well, that's war. All right. That guy's blocking Ash, so he needs to go away. Too slow. Yeah, I don't think so. Do no oh, you're going crit. Oh, I liked your old critical better. That one's just not fancy at all. When they were younger, they were cooler. Hmm. I don't know. Thank you. On my honor as a knight. What about as your honor as a dad? Maybe I'm not. Yeah. Door key. Nice. Ash, um... What, you can't... Why can't you move? That doesn't make any sense. Fine. Um... Bye. I must steal myself. No, you don't need to steal yourself. You're fine. Put that bully in a way, though. Who is this? Just some bandit guy. Okay, so... You girls move forward. And I'm gonna need you to heal... How far does your healing thing go now? Not that far. Oh, I think it goes further than it did before. No. I can't reach any of my party member guys. Try to have her go forward a little bit more. Then maybe it'll work. Can I reach Ash now? Yes. Yee! Thanks so much. Alright. Felix, what do you have on you? Where are you? Where the heck is he? Ah. Can you well, open the chest? Oh, there he is. Nope. Oh, well, may as well move forward anyway. Take them from behind. And... Just... Be careful. Oh, Sylvain! I'm sorry, dude! I didn't know. Um... Well, I guess you'll have to hang back then. <sighs> That's dangerous. Um... Dimitri... Forward. Stay. Um, Professor... Also forward. Enemy phase. Alright, Luke, you got this. You're doing a great job. <gasps> oh, I'm actually a little worried. Oh! Whoa! I, I Ash! Go for Dimitri. Dang it! Oh, man! Ash! No, Ash is in real trouble. Ah! Good job, Ash! He looks so cool now, though. Let's try this. He was cute before, though. Yep. Why is everybody hurt, though? Okay, I really don't understand this at all, but whatever. No, she can handle that. At your service. No, you need to I'm heal people. Home. You. <laughs> Bye. What's next? Don't mess with the net. That's what you learned from this. Meanwhile, Ingrid, hmm, that's or what I learned. Mercy. You're a big help. Okay. Dimitri, Ash needs help. Help him out. Oh. Oof. All talk and no action. Crazy. All right, Ash. Yeah, war is crazy. Move forward, Professor. Protect Ash. All right, now we're in better shape. Um, you 
I don't really care. Ingrid, ready, your ready job you is to collect XP. Sweet. Old man, orders. just... I don't care what you do. Just go there. And... You... I'll cut through. Yeah, you will cut through. Mm, great job, Luke. Getting this far in the game. I'm trying to unlock stuff, but it's not really panning out too well. Just be careful. Pointless. Oh, Felix looks great in blue. Yep. Why are you... Why? Is this area poisoned or something? I mean, really? Okay, well, that didn't really do anything. Ingrid, go to the chest? No, you can't open that. Fine. Dimitri, do you have any keys? Nope. I like the music now, though. It's, like, really heroic sounding. It's very cool. Mm hmm Yeah, I definitely like it now. I'm not going to be able to get all the chests. That's a bummer. But I don't really want to risk Ash's life. Well, I mean, he can get this one on his next turn, so it's not a total loss. Mm-hmm. And Ingrid, uh, Sylvain needs help. You're a big help. Good. Move forward, Annette. I got only a couple enemies left. Good. All right. Makes me happy. Professor, stay where you are. Because if you inch forward, then it's over. Sylvain. What's the plan? Uh. Okay. Ash. Chest, please. Armor Slayer. Well, Armor Slayers are good, but I don't know if it was worth all that hassle. Alright, time to end this. Dimitri! Step forward, please. And I'm going to just stay. Heal me. Well done. Annette. Deal with this person, please. Overkill, but worth it. Hmm. Overkill is fun. And Fire Emblem it is. Alright. That should be the turn. I don't know where you're going to go, but... Spain, move up. Last enemy phase. Well, this is so intense, Luke. Dimitri, finish this. No, I'm not the one you want. Uh, I guess I've got no choice. Bye. See ya. It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? You didn't plan on letting him get away, did you? Nope. Nobody's getting away, don't worry about it. Okay. Hopefully not. Actually, Ingrid, you should be able to attack from where you are. Uh... Ah, you should yield me a tidy profit. 
Ew. Anchorage, destroy him. Nice job, Ingrid. And make it difficult for them to move forward, please. So, stay. No, I don't. I want you to move here. They won't be able to retreat. Svein, go up. Oh my gosh. Good job, Sylvain! Until we meet again. Evasion ring? Cool. Oh, you do have a chest key. Well, go over here. Um, Professor... also has a chest key. Should. Should have the ability to open stuff. And... Doesn't matter where you go. Uh... Come on, Mercy. Who's left to move? Oh, these guys. Ash, you can barely move anywhere. Fine. Up. Enemy face. Again? They won't see this coming. What? Oh my god! Hey, that's not cool, dude. <laughs> you picked the wrong Pegasus. Slash unicorn. Thank you. I shall not stray. I guess Dimitri won't get to take that person out. Oh well. I guess not. Okay. Now, Professor, can you open stuff or no? And... You only have door keys. Who was the person who had a chest key? Not Dimitri. I don't even know anymore. Just finish him. It's fine. Farewell. Goodbye. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Dimitri doesn't care. Oh. you're both safe why are you here <laughs> did you forget we all made a promise on this very day five years ago Dimitri weren't you the one who asked that we all meet up here don't be silly of course you remember our promise that's why you and the professor are here right your highness I have been following news of your whereabouts for a while now I am relieved to have finally found you do not call me that I am not a prince, but a walking corpse. What? That is what we all believed, but it is not so. I can see with my own eyes that you are alive, your highness. But the jail cells in Ferdiat are as solid as they come. How did you manage to... To do? What happened what to, happened to, to do? do? He's dead. He died in my place. I see. We will be sure to honor his loyalty, Your oh, Highness. No. As for the state of the kingdom, the lords from the western regions have declared their fealty to the Empire, starting with House Roe. 
Cornelia's band of traitors now refers to kingdom territory as the Farkas Dukedom. They've made Ferdiad their stronghold as they continue to invade the eastern region. Who's Cornelia? She is a mage who has served the royal family for more than 20 years. There is much to tell you. I will explain everything in time. Well, it's not like all of the kingdom's lords have sided with the Empire. There are plenty of houses, like mine and Felix's, that remain stubbornly opposed. Your Highness, please allow us to take up arms at your side once more. What we need more than anything isn't soldiers, money, or supplies. We need the legitimate heir of Fargus to overthrow the Empire and reclaim the kingdom. All right, now the story is getting is your good. Duty. Mm -hmm. It is yours alone to bear and well worth fighting for. Only you can gather our troops and lead us back into the light. So, Dimitri's still needed. I see. Stop being crazy. So, you all agree that we must fight back. And you see how that woman, how the Empire cannot be forgiven. That we must wipe them all out until not a single one of them remains. Wipe them all out? Um, I don't think any of us here are suggesting anything that extreme. <sighs> <sighs> Professor, there is something I would like to ask you. Please, join me inside the monastery. To think you survived under all that rubble for the past five years. I suppose stranger things have happened. Odd as that is to admit. There is still much I would like to ask you, but I think that's enough for now. Uh, where are the knights? On that day five years ago, during the battle with the Imperial Army, Lady Rhea went missing. Since then, the Knights of Seros have continued searching for her. And for you, I hear they have yet to find any promising leads. As the Empire has yet to release a statement, it's hard to imagine that she has perished. And yet... No, never mind. Once news of your survival gets out, everyone will flock back to the monastery. What happened to the kingdom? After that battle, a certain... Incident took place in Ferdiad. Oh, great. Rufus, who was serving as king here. regent, was murdered. I was once a knight in service of the royal family. I resigned from the Knights of Seros and returned to serve the kingdom. However... This is madness. You truly claim that His Highness is the one who killed Rufus? Oh, but it's true. The only one who could slip past the bodyguards and kill so efficiently is the young prince. You can't deny it. Rufus is Prince Dimitri's uncle. His Highness is incapable of such an atrocious crime as murdering his own blood. Ah, but they were never very close, were they? It's a well-known fact among former retainers. There are even rumors that Rufus was originally involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Perhaps His Highness believed those rumors, and murdered Rufus in a fit of rage. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid none of that matters now. Cornelia, do not tell me that you... The decision has been made. His Highness will pay for his crime with his head. His sentence will be carried out the day after tomorrow. On that day, the royal bloodline will come to an end. Mm, how convenient for her. All you have left to do is sit back and watch, you senile old fool. Watch as the kingdom you love falls to ashes. Wow. She obviously it killed his uncle. was soon after announced that his sentence had been carried out. With his highness's death, the royal bloodline of House Blathed was erased from this world. True to her word, all we could do was watch as she tore the kingdom apart before our eyes. Since the execution and the prince's corpse were concealed from the public, there have always been those who believed his highness was still alive. As for myself, I only began to hope three years ago, when I chanced upon some compelling rumors. What rumors? An imperial platoon attacked without warning. 
incident after incident of Imperial generals being slaughtered in Kingdom territory. It is said that each died in such a brutal, gruesome way that it is hard to imagine they were killed by human hands. That's my dream. I followed the rumors to location after location. Eventually, I had seen enough. I knew the rumors were true. Finally, after a half decade of torment, it happened. I found him. Uh, I fear his deep hatred and the weight of his solitude have consumed him for far too long. We must bring him back from the edge on which he stands. To that end, I must speak with his highness. I imagine it will not be a quick or easy conversation. I pray that he is of a mind to speak of such things. <laughs> um... I am certain that my words will... Uh, never mind. What must be done, must be done. I would wager that you are weary after the day's events. Perhaps you should take this opportunity to get some rest. Well, let's see. Everyone left him for dead in there. Why didn't his people rise up and get him out of jail? Pretty messed up that no one was there for him. Mm -hmm. Part 2. Azure Moon. Guardian Moon. The Delusional Prince. Prince Dimitri and the remnants of the royal army join with the remaining Knights of Seros to form a revitalized kingdom army. Using Garrig Mach as their base of operations, they rise to action against the Empire. Oh my goodness. You! So you were alive after all. Professor! It is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Ah, oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you. But I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Gilbert has told us everything. From here on, our strength is yours as well. Does my heart well to see that all of you are safe? I recruited way more now people that we than have that. All gathered, let's mm -hmm. discuss our next course of action. We have two objectives. To overthrow the Empire and to rescue Rhea. I have no objection to joining forces with you. After all, our interests are aligned. Nothing could be more reassuring than securing the cooperation of the Knights of Seros. Thank you. Let's fight together. Oh, okay. The Archbishop entrusted all of her affairs to you. From now on, I shall comply with your wishes. We'll make Garrick Mok our base, and prepare to make our stand against the Empire. There is a fair amount of damage, but we will at least have shelter from the wind and rain. Surely those Imperial jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. While it may be a strategic location, it's too far from the front lines to be worthy of notice at the moment. This area is inconvenient as far as transport time is concerned, so it's of little importance to their war effort. Even so, nothing slips past the Emperor. It is safe to assume she at least has this place under surveillance. Professor, what do you think about making this place our base? Can we go somewhere else? <laughs> What do you say? I have no objections. If you want gathering. to go somewhere else, I don't know. You, I don't think you get the option. Uh, it's just which response you want. I would have just do the second response then. Was... Yes, that is a valid concern. Fortunately, there are still villages and hamlets nearby. And though I wouldn't call them abundant, we have war funds as well. What do you think, Your Highness? Do as you please. Hey, don't act like this doesn't concern you. We finally reunited after all this time. We've got to work together. She's right. In fact, why don't we all join forces and clean this place up a bit? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And it'll give us time to reminisce about all the good old days at the Academy. I can't wait. How carefree of you. Oh, jeez. It may sound trivial, but, well, I think it's a good idea. 
I understand feeling impatient, Your Highness, but patience is key at a time like this. If we fix up our base, it will improve morale, which will be sorely needed as we... Fools. Um... Let's all settle down. Stay out of this! Whoa! Dude! Please, calm yourself, Your Highness. We are not your enemies. My enemies say the same. <laughs> That's true, actually. What happened to him? It's like he's a completely different person. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, thanks for being for Would him there, Felix. Would it help if I him a nice pot of tea? I cannot claim to understand how he feels. However, the way he's behaving, it's as though he's being haunted by some unseen force. He does see ghosts. He wasn't always like this. Perhaps. Well, that was fun. I don't understand why people can't see everything that he's been through. They act like they have no idea what he went through. Caspar would like to speak with us? Hey, Professor. Something's been bothering me. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though... I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. Uh, I, I don't know. There is something I wanted to bring to your attention. Do you recall the incident five years ago involving a suspicious individual in Garrig Mark? These brigands all bore the same scorpion tattoo that we found on the arm of that man. Oh no. I thought that might be of interest to you. Don't mention it. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. Dot 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 or this one? Oh, look, honey, it's your playthrough. But some of the knights died in combat. They died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. Not necessarily. I'm gonna say he might have harmed children. I don't know. But he probably wouldn't have. Now those knights, they're not coming back. We both know it. This is all my fault. Mm, not really. You have no idea what would have happened. It's kind of weird to blame yourself for something like that. Exactly. Like five years ago. Thank you. Did you just get flowers? Yeah, because she's your rival for Dimitri. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. It feels like so long since we got to a save point. But anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and, uh, well, things have changed quite a bit. I have no idea what happened to all our recruits. Hopefully they'll come back one by one like Caspar, but who knows? War is a very interesting thing. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Check out some other cool videos on K-Wings Let's Plays. Bye-bye. Mm. See ya!